Joe Biden tweeted this out July 9th. He says, this is why elections matter. And you want to see what the video was? This is what he tweeted out. The ultra MAGA Republicans, they're going after your Social Security. They've written it down. Every five years, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid have to be reauthorized or they go out of existence. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, he has a proposal to cut Social Security. I would have thought, had I not seen it on paper and heard them talk about it, that I was making this up. Not a joke. The senator from Wisconsin, Ron Johnson, promised again that if they regain power, they're going to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. That's why elections have consequences. That's why they matter. So Joe Biden tweeted out a video pretending he's defending your Social Security from the bad Republicans. There's jokes, too. Oh, and you're kidding. I know I sent them. I got it, yeah. Uh, what kind of right-wing scumbag think that's what should be cut, Social Security. Thank you, Joe Biden. I had no idea what was at stake until you tweeted out that video. <laughs> uh, the only problem is Joe Biden's been doing the exact, he's been wanting to cut Social Security his whole career. And in fact, what he just did was he tapped the anti-Social Security ideologue to oversee the program. Biden nominated Andrew Biggs, this guy, a think tank denizen with a history of slamming Social Security to oversee government retirement benefits for 66 million Americans. Who appointed him? Joe Biden. For years, he has been a vocal critic of expanded Social Security and workers' rights to a secure, stable retirement free from the vagaries of the stock market. He has dismissed the retirement crisis as a non-issue, and as recently as 2020, he blamed the problems with the Social Security system on older Americans' game of chicken. Is that referred to them not voting for him? That's the game of chicken? I don't know what that game is, but this that's this guy that Biden just appointed. That's him talking. Here's that another... Sounds, yeah. What? Go ahead. That sounds very much like what that means is People are going to be mad. You cut it. And what are they going to do? Not vote for you? Like, that's what it sounds like he's saying with that to me. Okay. Am I crazy? I don't know. And two decades ago, Biggs worked on a Bush administration commission that pushed to privatize Social Security. In response to questions from the lever, Biggs suggested he no longer favors privatizing Social Security. Instead, he said he now believes that nation's Social Security-like programs should be more focused on guaranteeing against poverty in old age, while middle- and high-income individuals take on greater responsibility for saving for retirement on their own, <laughs> such as by the government establishing universal retirement savings accounts for every worker. Now, what is that? That's uh. privatizing Social Security. That's making Social Security not what it is, an entitlement program because you pay into it and they're going to make it into a welfare program. So then now people can have disdain for it. He's not suggest, by the way, suggesting he's suggesting privatizing. That's, social that's what that's like, exactly he's suggesting it. he's against it. Why did they say that he's suggesting he's against it? He's a hundred percent for it. Oh, it's there more. It's after the other video. Uh, as Jeff Hauser at the Revolving Door Project pointed out, Trump would routinely refuse to nominate Democrats for the seats on that commission that they were owed on other bipartisan boards and commissions, including the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and the Securities and Exchange Commission. So there's supposed to be a certain amount of Democrats, certain amount of Republicans on these boards. Trump just ignored that shit. But Biden isn't. Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump quietly pocket vetoed potential appointees recommended by Chuck Schumer during the Trump presidency. And sadly, the Democratic leadership ignored our call for action and never raised a fuss about it. So that, that's how you know Joe yeah. Biden's full of shit. And now you know why he's really here's here. Here, I'll tell you why he's super full of shit. Watch this video. As Democrats, we can't launch dishonest attacks against fellow Democrats. We have to. Oh, was this a bit? This was this a was this put out by Biden during the campaign? Let's see. Eat Donald Trump. Now Bernie's campaign has unleashed a barrage of negative attacks on Joe Biden. 
They've even accused Joe Biden of supporting Paul Ryan's cuts to Social Security. How could Bernie's he say that? Bernie's campaign is not telling the truth. Paul Ryan was correct when he did the tax code. What's the first thing he decided we had to go after? Social Security <laughs> and Medicare. There it is. There he is agreeing with Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan was right. Now, Joe Biden made a commercial that said he didn't do this. He said he couldn't believe. Yeah. But they talk about doing this. Yes. Now, we need to do something about Social Security and Medicare. It's the only way you can find room to pay for it. I mean, whatever happened to that old conservative discipline about paying for what you spend? I'm up for re-election this year, and I'm going to remind everybody what I did at home, which is going to cost me politically. I, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans' benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice. I tried it a third time, and I tried, tried it a fourth, fourth time. time. Somebody has to tell me in here how we're going to do this hard work without dealing with any of those sacred cows. So that's that's Joe Biden claiming he's trying to save Social Security. Do you see why it's ridiculous? Once, twice, three times a MAGA, an ultra MAGA subject. <laughs> Bernie, now is no, let's let's watch this commercial again. Can I watch this again? As Democrats, we can't launch dishonest attacks against fellow Democrats. We have to beat Donald Trump. Now Bernie's campaign has unleashed a barrage of negative attacks on Joe Biden. They've even accused Joe Biden of supporting Paul Ryan's cuts to Social Security. We just showed you the video where he did that. And they're upset that Joe, uh, Bernie Sanders was pointing it out. It's not. This is no time to tell the truth about Joe Biden. We've got to beat Trump so we can protect Medicare. And then <laughs> we'll get elected and we'll cut Medicare. <laughs> Bernie's campaign is not telling the truth. Paul Ryan was correct when he did the tax code. What's the first thing he decided we had to go after? Social Security. Hey, that does Medicare. not match up with the initial denials. So let's let's remember the first video. The ultra MAGA Republicans, they're going after your Social Security. They've written it down. Every five years, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid have to be reauthorized or they go out of existence. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, he has a proposal to cut Social Security. I would have thought had I not seen it on paper and heard them talk about it. I was making this up. Not a joke. <laughs> You've endorsed this. I thought they were making it up. You mean that thing that you endorsed when you whispered in a really super unclever way? <laughs> he was dropping a truth bomb yeah. on you. Here's the truth. You got to cut Social Security and Medicare. <laughs> and then he, he smiles about it. You could all just do P90X like Paul Ryan. <laughs> Have a great body. You don't need to go to the hospital. So, uh, Joe Biden is currently right now trying to cut your Social Security and Medicare. He's doing it with Medicare. It's the only way. It's the only <laughs> way. Hey, we're going to Sacramento, back here in Los Angeles, Bakersfield, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our shows. Mm -hmm. 